This message is strictly for intentional parents, the ones that have sense, common sense, the ones that are thinking. That's it. If you're not, so for the rest of us, thanks for staying with me. We need you. The world needs you. We all need you. You might have seen that video of the 22-year-old that I posted. So that's like two videos before this one. You can just check it out. And I saw how emotional parents were. People were talking about how um, they felt sorry for the 22-year-old teacher who had preschoolers in her care that were very rude. And she had engaged with the parents and they were making all sorts of excuses. And the parents really weren't parenting those children. They are kids, parenting kids. And obviously, it's given her a hard time. I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. Them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life. This sort of thing is putting out, pushing out teachers in society. And it's not an American problem, it's not a Western problem, it's not a problem that does not happen here in Nigeria. It's not a problem that does not happen here in Lagos, especially where we have schools that are bowing down to parents that are bringing money. Yeah? So when I say bowing down to parents and bringing money, whatever it is that they say, irrespective of how wrong it is, because you want the money as a school, you get rid of your values if you have any, and then you allow them to do all sorts of things. That's why the school has now become a marketplace, has become a club, it has become a networking hub. We have lost the true focus of what a school is as an institution to help to nurture and groom and bring out the best in the children. People are putting their children in schools not because the school matches the personality of the child or meets the actual needs of the child, but it meets the need of the parent. They want to belong. We need to understand that we, that still have common sense, are the ones that we are no, going to help. Now, instead of just forwarding the video, it's good so that people can be aware of what is happening. Post the video by all means. But what are you going to do about it? Is it going to be, oh, hey, things have really changed, though. These Gen Z parents, hey, things, oh, ah, Jesus, please come quick, come quick. Who don't want to help? What are you going to do? Now, you can't change the world, but you can change your circle of influence. You can start where you are. You can start in the school where your children are. How can I help? If you think it's the teachers in Nigeria that will change Nigeria, you have another, you, in fact, you, you, you've missed it completely. What are you going to do as a parent? What are you going to do in your child's school? What are you going to say? Even if it's once a month that you go there and volunteer to do something that will bring change, go and teach one moral value. Go there and teach one skill go there and contribute positively. Stop using the PTA to um, cause trouble, to gang up against schools and all those sorts of things. And then schools, that one too is your problem because you're just opening your doors to anybody. We have peace at Leposh School because we have our tribe. So we work together. We solve our problems when we have them and then we move on. For, for, we don't have a, a, a parents against teachers, parents against school kind of thing. No, it is one team. And the sooner that you understand, all of us, that it is in the best interest of the children, the better. And that is why I'm not, I'm not a fan of PTAs because it has been misconstrued. If you do use it for the right purposes, not to be calling celebrities that will, will or yeah, yeah, British as you say, that will influence the children negatively, drop their trousers, flash their chest, and the children are looking at those people going online, researching and following all those sort of things. That's not what we're looking for. You guys are using the, the PTA as a platform, you're using the schools as a platform, you come for sports day, you behave inappropriately and all those sort of things. Now. You need to go and check those things. You need to go and correct those things. You need to be brave enough to speak up and say, this is not what a school is about. You shouldn't be one of those parents that when you drop your child in the morning, when they come to pick up at 2, 3 o'clock in the, in the afternoon, you are still there, gossiping. Gossiping, not done anything constructive with life. That's not what we're looking for. We are looking for parents, intentional parents that will bring change wherever you are. 
More music on trend. That is what we're looking for. We need your help as a school, as a nation. Start with your homes. Train your children. Let them have common sense. Let them have respect, good old-fashioned values. A lot of you are going crazy about grades. We have doctors that are people in their care because they don't have values. They don't have moral values. They don't have ethical values. I would choose character any day over any grade. I can teach a child at 23 to have good grades, but I cannot teach somebody that has no character.